gentlemen, I now present to you Christmas. For the wreath enthusiast, of course. All right, it is here. It's got the aspen color. I'll lay this down. I just gotta... I may have joint problems in the future. Uh, who else heard that? Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> without further ado, guys, Waterbox Aquariums. This one's for you. And this one's for us, Reefers. Let's go. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna get right back into the vibes, guys. Um, that was a bit of a very long introductory, but I feel like that was much necessary considering the hiatus I gave to you guys. So I apologize. I gotta stop apologizing. Anyway, um, <laughs> it is Christmas. I think everybody who is into this hobby understands that when you get something delivered to your door that has to do with the aquarium, the home aquarium, yeah, I think everybody can agree with me that it is it is Christmas, it is Hanukkah, it is Kwasna, whatever you guys are celebrating, which involves you guys getting gifts, it's, it's that, it's that. It's happiness, right? It's joy. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get it get into this. All right guys, so it is day two of trying to assemble this water box aquarium cabinet. Let me tell you, remember what I said, I am not the handiest handyman out there. It was around midnight on day one when I initially started putting this cabinet together. And sure enough, during the time lapse, I remember looking up and seeing the time, it was around 2 a.m. I was having a problem with some of the screws and figuring out how some of the screws work. It, they're like little screw ends with anchors at the end of them and I was not aware that some of this hardware is a little challenging for me at least. So we're gonna go ahead. I just finally figured out what I had to do with the aluminum frame here to get it to connect correctly. And it turns out I actually had to unscrew one of the pieces that were pre-screwed in and do it <laughs> vice versa. I had to screw in the end that I was having trouble with first and then coming back and screwing in the preset, so to speak, of the assembly. So once I got that figured out, I finally got this one segment in. We are gonna go ahead now and we are going to continue the time lapse. So here's day two <laughs> and uh, wish me luck guys, here we go. All right guys, so what's next is now we need to take out the sump out of its own box. And from there, we're gonna be able to take out that sump and put it into the actual cabinet. We cannot do that with the door on, of course. So Waterbox has this as the next step in assembling the cabinet to put the sump inside. Let's go get it. 